From conception to completion, this mosque was more than 10 years in the making. It was funded by donations from 10,000 people and organisations. Three quarters of them came from Turkey. We have gathered in Cambridge not only to open a mosque, but also to highlight that all the pieces of the mosque refer to a unity and oneness that we seek. And this is a gift for this beautiful city. The singer Yusuf Islam was also a driving force behind the building of the mosque, and he wanted it to be open to Muslims and non-Muslims alike. Unlike certain other mosques and cultural centres in the country, this one will provide a much needed space and openness to promote better understanding between people of faith and religion and philosophy, I would add. A grove of trees forming a calm oasis was the design theory behind the building, but it's the eco-credentials of the mosque that sets it apart. We're nearly zero carbon footprint in this mosque, although we have hundreds of guests every day. Um, the, the wood we have used uh, are harvested from sustainable forests, and uh, we, have, uh, we harvest the rainwater to use in the bathrooms and also in the irrigation of the gardens. We have solar panels, we have um, air source heat pumps, which are part of the uh, green features of our mosque. And it's not just the inside of the mosque that's been designed with tranquility in mind. This garden on the way in is a calm and reflective space, an escape from the busy city, and not just for those who are here to pray, but the general public as well. With room for 1,000 worshippers, the mosque has been a long time coming for local Muslims. I was born and raised here. I've grown up here. We've seen the community grow. We just needed a, a bigger mosque uh, to accommodate all the Muslims in Cambridge. So it's absolutely amazing. We're just very proud of a, a truly iconic building in a university city. It's a truly modern building designed to break down religious barriers and connect people to nature. The trustees of this mosque say it sets a new standard for those that will be built after it. Sarah Morris, TRT World, Cambridge.